Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you on this lovely summery day with a brand new video and I'm bare faced and all, no makeup. I thought, you know, it's summer. My face has not been doing the best lately. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think because I was drinking too much soda or whatever, but I had little pimples come up. So right now it's starting to, you know, even back out and it's clear. Well, trying to become clear. So anyway, I thought I would bring a video about perfume. Yes, everybody, I think I know, wants to smell nice. I mean... We want to be walking by people and people being like, what is she wearing? Or what is he wearing? You know, like, you want to smell good. Like, who doesn't want to smell good? I do. Like, 24-7. And I thought, what better to do than a video about perfume? Um, a perfume haul, if you like to call it. Um, for the summer. Like, nice fragrancy. Um spring summertime fragrances that are florally you know girly what better it's summer or it's about to be summer or whatever i think it's summer because it's hot outside so yeah what better than to bring you a video with my favorite summertime fragrances so stay tuned and we'll go right into it so first let's start off with some um perfume that i love and i i love to wear it all throughout the summer I have about let's see five or six or seven I can't count yeah one of those numbers <laughs> perfumes that I would like to show you that maybe if you're looking for a new perfume you'd like to try for this summer something that's gonna you know have you smelling like flowers and um, fruity like the fruity scents I got you covered so first I'm gonna show you um, this is like an all-time favorite of mine. It is Promise Me by Airpostel. I absolutely love this one. It is, I haven't been wearing it really uh, lately because I, I'm a perfumeaholic. Yes, I love perfume. I have perfume like in my bathroom, in, um, in my bedroom. I have perfume here. Like, and it's not like one or two bottles or three or whatever. It's like like, I have baskets full of perfume because I, any every time I go out to go shopping, I have to buy a perfume, basically. Feels like it. Okay, maybe not all the time, but I, I buy a lot of perfume. Anyway, back to this perfume. It is very, you know, like, sometimes you like to smell that smell of, like, a, a man's cologne. It's like a clean-smelling man, man cologne. I love that smell. And... This is a lot like a, it smells like a man's cologne, but it's for a female or a girl, you know. It, it's strong. I know I'm probably not doing the best to describe this perfume, but that's the only word that can come to my mind is it, it's strong. It's, you know, yeah. So it's very, it is a little bit of florally, um, but it's just a strong, clean smell. It'll die down like once at the end of the day but it's very fresh like you just got out of the shower and like I said it makes you kind of think of a man's cologne but it'll die down in it it's just a clean smell so that's that promise me by air Postel. and next I'm going to bring to you um, the perfumes that I'm showing you now are perfumes that I just got like this year um, except for one I'll show you this is a little, not a sample, but a um, just a little mini bottle that I got, um, I think I got it on eBay. It's C by Giorgio Armani. Oh my goodness. This is the bomb. Now, I had it, it came in like this, but I was like, how do I get the perfume out of a bottle like this, you know? Like, this... Like, I spray tons and tons on me, and I get a lot that I use too much sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Especially if it's a stronger perfume. I can't tell. I just want to smell good, you know? But anyway, um, yeah. So, it was. It came in, like, this kind of bottle. So, I just poured it. I found, like, a little bottle I had around the house and a little spritz bottle. And I poured it in here. So, this is all. It was, like, up to here. And this is all I have left. Yeah. I'm, I'm horrible. I use it way too much. I use perfume like nobody's business. 
like it's going out of town. Anyway, this is a floral kind of smell. Um, it is also on the stronger end. It's something that's going to linger, and if you walk by somebody, they're going to smell it. It is a fresh smell, I, I like to think. It's kind of a sweet smell also. Um, but it is, I would say it's for summer. Although it's like very, kind of a strong smell to it. It's strong, but subtle, if that makes sense. You can, I would wear this, maybe if I was going out, you know, um, like out in the town, you know, I, in the evening time, I would probably wear this because this is like a, like a date night perfume or, um, yeah, I would say like a date night perfume or occasion perfume, um, because it is very like kind of that maybe romantic feel of a perfume. It's, um, yeah. So this would be good for like a summer night that you may be going out or something like that for occasion or whatever. I would pref I would recommend C by Giorgio Armani. So that's that. Now, um, okay, I've said that all of the ones I was about to show you I've just purchased this year except for two. So I showed you the Promise Me by Air Postal um, and the C by Giorgio Armani and now I'm going to show you um, Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. Love this perfume. It is very soft, very soft, and a very, um, it's florally, very florally. It smells so good. It's very soft. You can wear this, like, starting from your day when you got up all the way to the evening. It may, um, it doesn't last too, too long, but, um, it is very good. Now, I just got this last year. And I only have about that much left. It probably should last me long, but I didn't purchase the bigger bottle because it is on the pricier end. Same as the Giorgio Armani one. Uh, those two are kind of pricey, so I did not, you know, get the bigger bottles. I may one day, but me, I go through perfume like nobody's business. And I'm always buying new perfume, so once I use it up, it's probably not my best bet to get another one because I'm just gonna find something else but this perfume is very very soft and you could wear this like it doesn't even have to be just summertime although it's very summer summery type fragrance you can wear this all through the year I do and next these perfumes that I'm gonna show you I've purchased this year so um I'll show you those First, I'll show you, um, this is a Victoria's Secret perfume, and it is scandalous. Um, it's just the body mist. I al also, I have the actual perfume that I purchased. Um, I got them on eBay, because sometimes you can find things, you know, a little bit cheaper than you go to the store and get them, so that's just what I do. I mean, I love perfume. I go and smell it in the store, and then I'll be like, eh, I can find a cheaper, you know, price for that, so... That's what I do. And this is very, I almost want to say it has like a, I don't know. It's very like, you can smell like flowers. It's kind of fruity. Um, although I really don't like fruity perfumes. So most of these won't be like a fruity perfume. It's more of a soft, subtle type perfume. But this has a little bit of fruity, a fruity scent to it. And florally and this one if you get the perfume actual perfume it'll last longer but the body mist they last also pretty good but just not as strong and um, as long as the actual perfume bottles it's a fruity scent I can't put my like my eye on it and it doesn't come with like the uh, description of what is in it but I want to say Maybe some type of passion fruit. And florally. That's all I can come up with. It's very pretty. Very pretty smell. And again, Scandalous by Victoria's Secret. The Marc Jacobs one and the C. Armani uh, that I showed you already. Those also have like a musky type smell to them. They, um, yeah, so 
although it's very florally and, and very soft, it has like that musk kind of smell to it. So I like those types of smells. Something that's like, I guess that's where the strong comes in, where it's a little bit strong, but they are very, they die down. I don't like really loud perfumes like all the time, like where you're going to be walking around and it's like, oh, I'm getting a headache or something like that. These are not like that. They just are, they're strong at first, but then they die down and you can, you know, go around people and they won't have a headache. So Next, I have three more perfumes that I'd like to show you. Um, the next one is Pink by uh, Victoria's Secret also. Now, I remember when they were like in the square bottles. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, I had like, when they first came out, I think it was Fresh and Clean and I tried all those. And then I just like... I don't know. I got I got used to it, so I just stopped using it. So I like their new bottles that they have out. They're like they're not glass, but they're like a harder type bottle, and they're round. I think they're just cute, and I like the polka dots and stuff like that that they have on them. Um, this one is wild and breezy, and this one actually has a description on it. So maybe since I don't do the best job. <laughs> Um, of describing them, I can read what's in it and maybe you can use your imagination. You'll have like an idea of what it may smell like. Um, but this is Go Wild and, or it says Go Wild and Red Guava and Passion Flower. And you can get a hint, if you sniff it, you can get a hint of there's some type of flower in there. And it makes me think a little bit of like a tropical type flower or fruit or something like that so you can you can smell that passion flower I don't know what a red guava smells like but I know what passion fruits and, and passion flowers stuff like that I know what those smell like so when you sniff this you can really get a hint of that and I just loved I'm a sucker for blue things blue is like one of my favorite colors blue and pink are my two top favorite colors and I had to get it. It was blue. And it smelled good on top of that. So, yeah. This is very summery. Very girly. All these are pretty girly. I'm such a girly girl. So, can't help but get girly girl perfumes. So, but you don't have to be a girly girl to wear these. You can wear these anytime. Or whatever. If you're tomboy, if you're a girly girl, you can wear these. And you'll smell great. In my opinion. But, um, next I will show you another pink uh, perfume fragrance and this one is wild at heart and this one it says live wild at heart and red passion fruit and sheer miss or musk sorry <laughs> musk and again if you sniff it you can smell that there's some type of tropical flower or fruit or something tropical in this and it has red passion fruit so it's very, I have that on today and I love it. I just got this actually like last night. I loved it. I went by and smelled it and I couldn't help but get it. Coming from someone who just gets perfume like all the time. But anyway, <laughs> I couldn't help it. And it smells so good. I think I was at work one day and a lady came in and she was buying something. And I, I'm that girl that will be like, if I smell something good, I'm going to be like, excuse me, what are you wearing? That's me. Yeah. Maybe embarrassing, but yeah, I will ask because I love perfume and I just love to smell good. So I think she was wearing that perfume actually because I can, like when I sniffed it, I like, I remembered the smell. So it's, it smelled great on her and I hope it smells good on me. I mean, you know, everybody has different body chemistry, so I hope it smells good on me. I think it does. But anyway, <laughs> I think that a lot of people would like this one I'm not sure if it's very popular but it smells great so I would recommend this one it is very fruity which is very different for me because I don't like really fruity perfumes but the musk in it kind of helps it where it's like soft and not too I don't know fruity perfumes just make me think of like candy and I don't want to smell like candy I just want to smell pretty <laughs> so there the musk in this actually kind of helps 
with the fruity smell. So it's very soft also. My last perfume, and I know this video is getting so long. I'm sorry, but hey, trying to help people out, you know, make them smell good, get a new perfume. I got you. So the last perfume is Pretty by Elizabeth Arden. And oh my goodness, it is pretty. It's a pretty smell. Maybe more on the musk side. Um, it's very florally. And it. I want to say, now I know exactly what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the Marc Jacobs dream, or Daisy Dream. It reminds me of this because it's the floral uh, scent that's in it. It's um, not fruity at all. There's no fruit or any hint of fruit that I can smell in it at all. So I really like this one. I, I got the big bottle of this one because I caught it on a really good sale. Um, yeah, and I have about, I don't know, about that much in there. And I just purchased this like two months ago. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Normally perfumes for me, two months or a month after is like the halfway mark, you know? Yeah, so uh, I'm doing pretty good on this one. But that's all the perfume that I have for you. Um, like the Victoria's Secret ones, they are not too pricey. Like this one, believe it or not, for this little bottle, maybe it is a little bit pricey. But sometimes you can call, uh, catch them on sales. This one runs like 15 but sometimes you can get like, um, if you go to Victoria's Secret, they have like sales where you can get them um, like two for like 15 or something. I don't know. Something like that. They'll have like a sale for those. Um, and then these ones, they run around 18 or 20 So it's not really that bad, I don't think, for like the bigger bottle. But do what I do. Go to eBay and see if you can get a cheaper bottle for that or that's what I do um, and then like the Elizabeth Arden and the Dream Daisy and the C. Armani those are kind of higher in price but I think they're worth it because they last actually like they don't you don't have to spray them continuously for you to smell good all day and then the promise me I actually think that you're probably like why are you showing me this then I think it's actually I hope it's not, but you probably can find it like on Amazon or like eBay, but I think they discontinued it in the store, but I might be searching for it because I love it. But yeah, this one usually runs about, um, I cannot remember. I got this one actually a long time ago. Well, not a long, long time ago because me, you know, I buy perfume like nobody's business. But for me a long time ago, like maybe a year or two ago, and I just buy perfume too much that I haven't gotten around to use it but I think it was like I want to say maybe 12 maybe I'm not sure but it lasts it really does last it's very um very fresh so there you have it there's my perfumes my summer and spring perfumes that you can use um for if you want to smell good you want to smell girly you want to smell just good overall you want to just walk by somebody and be like, yeah, confident that you smell great. And then when you walk by, they're like, hmm, what is that smell? That's my dream. I just want to walk by somebody and someone say, what is she wearing that smells so good? And be that person like I am that would come up and ask me, what are you wearing? Yeah, I, will. I that's my dream. I know. I'll get there one day with one of these perfumes. Those are my perfumes for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of on the longer side, but um, this was my perfume haul. And I will try and do these more because, like I said, I change up my perfume like nobody's business. So I hope it was helpful. And um, if you like this video, thumbs up it. And don't forget to take a moment to subscribe. And comment down below, what's your favorite summer perfume or perfume in general and i'll catch you guys next time bye